SLR race shop and we just got our secondary race shop the new van it's here it's made it carve did an amazing job and I'm gonna take you guys through the whole van and let you check it out so come on in what's up guys Mark Samuels SLR Honda we got our new van finally actually it's a pretty quick turnaround my guys at uh, Carve uh, busted it out for us and you know, I'm excited to show you guys this uh, because I've been wanting it to build a van out for the race team for the last couple of years, two, three years, and I've thought deeply and a ton about it, like what would I do if I got to do it, and that time has finally came, and I'm excited to show you guys what, what we came up with and how the Carve guys did. Man, the, I can't thank uh, Ken and Ryan at Carve enough. They, uh, they killed it on this build, and I uh, look forward to telling you what happened. There's a couple things how I wanted to build this race van. A lot of people like to wall it off and have a little living quarters up in the front. A lot of people like to have a full race van the whole way through. I wanted both. So, and I wanted to go all the way to the very front. Uh, so that's how I, I designed it. I came up with this idea and you know, the front two seats swivel around. I have this bench seat that folds out into a bed, but the biggest thing is we probably won't be sleeping in this thing, but it's gonna get us out of the elements and give us a place to hang out and uh, get, you know, not just have to be outside and get away from everything that's going on a little bit. And so the front part is uh, kind of dedicated for the team for us to hang out here and just be able to get out of the elements. And then also if like someone's working in the back, someone can hang out here. And yeah, it, I think it's a, a super cool concept. And yeah, from here, I'll, I'll kind of give you a little tour of what's going on. So front up here, we got a couple awesome cabinets up above here. So I'm not even sure what we're going to put in these yet. Probably some snacks, hopefully. Uh, we got a little rack right here for for jackets and shirts or whatever. The boys aren't going to be able to keep their gear bags in here. They're going to get outside or something. And then from there, we got a cooler up top. Uh, let's be honest, you know, no one likes to have to deal with ice. If you don't have to empty it all out, get your meats all d wet, and so this is a 12 volt system. It runs very efficiently, runs off the solar system, and you know we don't have to worry about getting ice. We just keep it running, and pretty cool concept, I think. We got nice helmet hooks for us to dry our helmets out on, or even while travel, strapped down. Um, that's one of Carves ideas that he came up with and super cool uh, another thing that I wanted to come up with was a place for the canopy those are always a pain in the butt when you're freaking loading a, a race rig and <laughs> it's always the last thing and you're throwing it on top of a bike and they're over here and you never have a nice place to put it so I have a 10 by 20 right here so that's perfect for sitting outside the van and has a place has its home take it out we can store stuff in there while we're uh, here and then when we're getting ready to leave, pack it up, throw this thing back and get rocking. Uh, right up here is our solar system. So this is the, the inverter showing the solar coming in. So we have 35 watts coming in off the solar panel, charging the battery, we're 99% full. That's the, uh, the inverter's off. And this shows when it's going out, when whatever. So whatever the inverter does, this thing actually runs mostly off 12 volt, which is really cool. So it's pretty much self-sustainable completely um, as long as we got sun so and then the other part is I wanted to have two sets of wheels which if you have a van you know it's a pain in the butt to have wheels also in your van so if you have a place to store them this is this is huge for me like this is one of my my favorite spots is having places to put the wheels that aren't in the place in your way you aren't tripping over them uh, it, yeah they it is super cool concept with this and they're freaking they're stout super stout so and then from there we got the dump cans and gas cans these got a place to go you know, we got 10 gallons down here if we have to we can fill these up because these are nice and sturdy up here as well and strong enough to uh, fill them up with fuel if we need to so we got our dump cans there more storage here more storage all drawers so this is where a lot of parts are going to go uh, next is i'm going to build this area to fit two spare motors so i'm going to have to make a little mount that's going to go in there and then i'm going to have two spare motors in there a 250 and a 450 
Uh, and yeah, that's gonna be the, the motor area. Got the bars, ODIs sitting right here. And then this is a pretty cool concept right here. Uh, this is an expensive closet. So we got two sets of suspension. It's all 3D printed for the shocks to fit in and the forks to fit in. They strap in, they're long for the ride and it's uh, it's a beautiful sight right there. So yeah, I'm really, really excited about that. I, they, again, Carve did a, an amazing job. The attention to detail that they have is unreal. And I, I'm just so, so happy with how uh, this whole thing turned out. Another really cool concept that we came up with uh, this was actually uh, off of one of the car vans that they already built and he had this this kind of setup with the cooler here and like I got that idea from them and uh, but I said can we throw the toolbox in there to where it rolls away and locks in and you don't have to take the toolbox out and he said absolutely so here we are locks in place you don't have to bring it out to be on the table or anything it's just right here and boom right to your your tools your yeah you don't have to worry about it. and then you just push these things down roll it back in locks in off to off to the races or off to home uh from here the next pretty badass situation is uh the pressure washer that's uh another hard thing for a sprinter to have it's got 32 gallons underneath it's got a water pump air compressor and then he built this whole system so this is just a straight up craftsman pressure washer he made this mount so this thing it just stays right here what i do is i i flip it around this way and then i have a hose that that's where you fill the water tanks and the water comes out so you plug it in right there plug it into here unrelease your uh your hose turn the inverter on turn the pressure washer on and then you're washing a bike or boots or whatever you need to and yeah you got 32 gallons of water and a full system that runs it you don't need a generator or anything their uh, inverter system is unreal and yeah it, it could run all the water we have in here we got solar going if we have sun out it's it's rocking so pretty cool self-sustainable full pressure washer system uh, the last the not least thing that we have on this is a Starlink. So we're we're rolling with internet. So satellite internet on the whole the rig and so we could turn it on when we're driving, when we get to any event, um, push out some content for you guys and double tap on photos on Instagram. So yeah, it's awesome. So that's uh that's pretty much the whole gig. We got some ball design lights too up on the door so you can swing these around. If it's nighttime while we're pressure washing bikes, we got light here. Or we twist it that way, point it out towards the pits. Same on the other door. And we have two lights coming out from the uh, slider. And it's, uh, yeah, so we're fully equipped for nighttime if we have to as well. And and I like I said, I am so excited for this van. They did such a good job and I, I can't thank them enough. And uh, I can't wait to get it loaded and have you guys all check it out at the races here soon. So yeah, that's the tour of the van. Hope you enjoy it. Leave us some comments. Tell us what you think, what we messed up on, if we didn't mess up whatever i don't care hate on us don't whatever but that's it cool thanks guys